Hello everybody, this is Capus Games, and welcome back to the Naval CBT. And today, I'm gonna show you guys how the controls work in the Naval CBT. This is a little bit of a uh, War Thunder Naval 101 episode. Dread in the air, I know that. Let's hope he doesn't bomb me. And it's just an AI target and not... Okay, that looks good. Okay, let's go back to the episode. So we're gonna go through all the controls. First up, um, basic movement controls. You got S to fall back. Two thirds, one thirds back, stop. And then once, uh, one to two thirds ahead, steady, uh, STD or steady, I think. Full ahead, um, F L K. I'm not sure what that's shortened for, but those are basically there are five forward speeds, three rear speeds, and A and D simply steer. Once you select the speed with W and S, you don't have to bother anymore. Next up, um, you control weapons uh, based on your ship. You see me having three main batteries of a. 128mm gun actually here, 3 turrets, and you might as well see some small turrets scattered across the ship. So, um, if you look on the left down, you can see, among other things, you see a target with a little, like, real tar um, icon there, I'm gonna charge it really quickly, you can see it flopping up and down there, that um, controls the AI gunners. I am currently controlling the main batteries, and if I say, um, okay, air targets. So, uh, I'm just gonna press B here. B is break, and it will automatically slow you down until you go at zero at the full reverse speed. But if I'm not mistaken, the AI gunner should start firing at the air target in a second. There we go. They're pretty accurate, they're pretty, actually, pretty lethal, which is really nice. And uh, let's say I press E again and put up to land targets. I'm gonna shoot that. Shoot that. I think I'm gonna get, more likely gonna shoot at that boat over here. But I'm just gonna disable them from now because I don't really need them. As you guys can see, uh, let's see, I got my fire my bat main batteries. Let them rotate for a second. Those are the guns I mainly fire. I'm gonna press Alt, the Alt button next to the spacebar, and Alt 2. So apparently I do not have any auxiliary weapons. I do however have anti-air weapons, which is Alt and 3. And now I control the little anti-air machine guns. If I now activate the gunners, they will start controlling the main batteries. As you guys can see, the main batteries are starting to rotate, and I do not want that because those things are gonna knock off this MPD-20 instantly. Well, I want to go over a little bit of damage and how to kill stuff in this mode. So I'm gonna go and get some broadsiding towards this guy here. Well, I still have the machine guns equipped. You can hear the steam. And it sounds amazing. Okay, gonna fall back again. Okay, I'm gonna select this as target. As you can see, I took a fire and I damaged the center port. I'm gonna take out the center compartment and then because I got the front compartment, if it lets me do it without reloading. This is one of the most efficient ways to take out a ship. Gotta reload again. Just take out as many compartments as you can because if you kill a compartment, you could kill all the crew inside of it. And if you dealt enough damage to like your crew, to a crew, you basically kill it. Uh, let's just equip the main batteries here. 
See if we can score a hit on this BD6 with the main batteries. You gotta see how much damage that does. It's probably gonna nuke it if I have like at least one of these guns hit. Okay, gun. And fire. Yep. Took out two out of the three compartments. Killed pretty much all available crew and done. The next up, uh, remember you use the E button to uh, set the targeting for the AI guns. Well, you also have the Q button if you activate that. If you guys can see, you have those three, those two triple tubes in the center. Those are my torpedoes. Any ship that has torpedoes has this ability. And with Q, I can cycle between the available torpedo launchers. I'm just going to set up here. And meanwhile, I'm just going to set my anti-air guns to do the anti-air duty because I want to have that uh, airplane gun. I'm just going to set up here. Select the destroyer. And you see this white line. This white line. You know, I, I, because it's really loud. I'm going to take it for later. The white line is a targeted projectile path. At some distances, um, it just goes center because you... The, um, the crew cannot estimate where the torpedo is going to hit. So at some points it's not accurate. But as long as it's at the di uh, uh, but uh, you, you notice that. If like at a distance the other boat is moving. But the uh, white line is exactly at the center of the boat like this. Then it's probably not accurate. As soon as he's moving he's going to be gone. But torpedoes are one of the most efficient ways to deal with a ship. So, space bars to launch a torpedo. I'm just going to launch one torpedo from both tubes. Give it a little while, and they are going to trifle to the destroyer. They're definitely not the fastest of weapons. Which is the downside. But, let's say I have to fire the main batteries at that thing. Turn in a fire, but really did not do much damage. Even now, only took out like one thing. So I'm not doing that too much damage there. So I've got to give it a while and let the torpedoes hit. But two thirds are uh, on their way now to the torpedo <laughs> destroyer. Lost direct sight of them, but they're actually traveling through. But visually, I cannot see them anymore. But it will be traveling through because they got a range of like 4,000 meters. Fire is taking out the main caliber gun. So it is on fire, so he's taking damage. But there we go. You guys can see the top right the amount of damage that did. Took out three compartments with like, what, like one of the two torpedoes, probably. Uh, let's take the anti-air guns, and where's the plane? Because funny enough, we can now say, let's attack planes, and you gotta take the main guns, and they gotta shoot at that, bit, that little plane there. Aircraft. Using distance fuchsia, um, fuchsias, and taking like the SF-40 heavy with the flak guns, it actually works. Because they're like, the actual flak weapons. Which is really cool. Although I think it's going to be more efficient for the FDI shoot at that uh, uh, bigger bugger. Sadly, this thing has very little AA weaponry, has uh, no auxiliary weaponry. So it really isn't the best vehicle to do this with. You know what? I'm gonna show you off how effective it is to like t have the AI take over different types of weapons. With probably the most iconic. Oh, hey, we got the tool sets finally. Uh, probably the most iconic vehicle. SF40 Light. It's an iconic 2.0 uh, naval vehicle, the barge. 
So I'm just gonna press Alt and Two, and let the AI control the main guns against that air target. <laughs> it is out of range right now. Let's just let it reload for a second and turn it off again. Just gonna wait a uh, moment until he gets like pretty much underneath us. Like, I mean, like, I got pretty much underneath it. And let's turn it on. There we go. I oh, they lost target acquisition, so it has to turn around. But afterwards, we will get target. <laughs> it does seem to miss, but if the plane is not being evasive and actually going towards you, if the plane going towards you, you will kill it. That's the thing with the automatic AI gunnery; it will not hit. If uh, you're flying away, but it's flying to watch you, it will hit. And it can also kill ships, but although I would probably prefer to just shoot the guns on my own. But I got at least got a good target acquisition. And of course he turns around. There we go, got at least some hits on there. Let's see what I can do against this plan. Only missed apparently. I say these guns are loud. There we go. <laughs> these barges are ridiculous. Still. I know what, let's take this thing out. Let's take out the type 1924 out to do a battle and see if we can actually like show off a little bit of those effects in actual combat because Taking the actual depth to learn how to control your ship properly, set the AI to the proper target because you can set up to take on both targets, which makes them all like spotting mechanisms because they have a tendency to shoot at things as soon as you spot something, and with that, they go for spotting. And then you can just set them to anti air duty or to anti ship duty if you need so. But with such a light and the air weapon risk this thing has. I mean, this thing only gets two, two, <laughs> two 20 millimeter anti-aircraft guns and that's it. That's it guys, there's not, there's no bow gun. There are no guns around the bridge. There are no por uh, aft guns or no guns right here. Just, just these two. And then the three main guns, that's all I have. I have to rely on my torpedoes to actually kill other destroyers, which really sucks. <laughs> this is not the greatest of destroyers, and will only sh it will only really work if you get into 2.7, 3.7. The Gusty Cannon Boat, Type 1936, the Carl Garster, uh, Albatros, Pier 70, that, those things, and even like. The, especially the U USA like uh, Fletcher and the premium variants there's so much stronger being like this thing gets five 128 guns so this thing's three 128 guns so it already gets two more of those um, it already gets like 20 more 20 millimeter guns and an additional 10 more 37 millimeter guns it just has so much more guns <laughs> Oh god, there goes my sad mod. 
Uh, destroyers do know you got the far out spawn and not the close by spawns. Actually, let's first show off the application of the torpedoes on small ships that have torpedoes. Here you guys can see I only have two forward facing torpedoes and they are not um, mobile. So I do get to turn them, I only have to get to activate them. Also note that if you have disactivated, you will shoot to the torpedo you have selected. If it's turned off, you will shoot both torpedoes, at least in small ships. I have not checked what it does exactly if you have nothing selected on a big ship, but generally you want to select and fire one or two of them at the same time and not blow your whole load, so to say. So it's generally better just to wait a little bit. Uh, I have something selected, but I don't see what I've selected. I'm gonna deploy the truly strike over there. I'll protect me while I capture this point, and I want to hack this wall right here. Oh god, there we got the first boat. You guys can immediately see me like strafing at FX678. Too late, that lead, so I did burn down, but I did get the kill there. So six is. Um, in order to uh, extinguish your fire, you cannot do that until um, you research fire prevention, which is tier 2 research, which is really, really annoying. 7 is to repair. Normally you have the F for repairs, but apparently you c they decide not to put an F. And I want to move sideways just a little bit to make my sh stuff just that much harder to hit. There's no use in... There we go. I want to double cycle. Over and over. Can I hit you though, small boats? Trying to lay down some cover fire. I love these sounds. These are actually the sounds of the 128 from the mouse in this game. destroy it's not without not with my help actually because I did nothing oh god there's a destroyer opening fire Got a hit. Oh god. That's one nice thing. You got a warning if you almost hit something and I hit right into the bridge. So I, I uh, must have killed something important there. On hit for me. That's one thing which clear issue with this game is that shells tend to overshoot automatically. I mean, I'm aiming way below the target. 
Yet I'm still overshooting. I can find a torpedo here. Guys can see the line where that thing says you uh, the ship will be going. If it continues on going forward, I have to check my flanks here. A ship over there. That's the one thing with like AI spotters. They would automatically spot that guy and start shooting about it. So you would have noticed it was there. Is there any other destroyer? Destroyers like to go into like just close areas, but I'm a weak destroyer, so actually I'm not the greatest in that small area. I think I want to capture C for now. The battle is still not over anytime soon. Come on, get me off the dangerous close course. Oh, hello. Well, you're a small ship. Did I really hit something? Oh, jeez. Come on, let me go. That thing's still alive. And so is that. That is probably a destroyer. And another big ship. Great. Actually, those are some small ships only. Not to worry about them then. That guy has spotted me. That's for sure. Keep the guns. Ouch. He is firing his main guns. There we go. Be gone. This is my point. Doubt they can even hit anything from here, but oh well. Oh god, my Gun has to rotate all the way the other way around again in order to get the good broadside. So let's go full back. Break using the B button. Prepare for a big ass broadside. Okay, I'm actually going full back. I'm gonna reverse out of this shit. I'm not ready for the broadside because he can get way more guns on bear than I can. Okay, looks like it's time for me to get some torpedoes on target. Uh, that's... That's an area denial. Not to worry about that thing as long as it doesn't launch a torpedo. Looks like he didn't, so... Looks like I'm safe. After my torpedoes are out, I cannot activate the... Torpedo activation thingy again anymore. There we go, I'm getting some good hits there. Come on. I have to go left here, don't I? 
I don't know. <laughs> oh god, jeez. That was not what we planned. Target destroyed in Type 39. Oh. That was a quad gun. That's why that's why it wasn't dealing so much damage. It was quad those are quad 105s instead of quad one 128s. Believe me guys, that 23 millimeter difference is actually a lot. And those are torpedoes! Those are torpedoes! Those are torpedoes, so I'm probably dead now. Yep. Torpedo in my butt. You gotta be kidding me. So somebody launching torpedoes from so far out, I back up. And push my butt into them. You gotta be kidding me. That's how you die? <laughs> By having your butt stick out <laughs> five meters too far? To be honest, a reality. Like, those torpedoes are a little bit too big in terms of hitbox. They have a tendency to blow up even at those moments where you would barely miss them. Which is kind of a bummer. Also, guys, if I'm, like, speaking weird and whatnot, I'm still kind of sick. If you guys didn't catch it on, uh, on the Discord, I did say it pointed out. I was sitting with a over 40 degree Celsius fever. Bit of headaches and whatnot. Which really sucked. Had a lot of going on lately. So I have not been uploading at, like even s even sl remotely as much as I wanted to. Five people on A. Any of them DDs? DDs are destroyers. Come on, chat. Work with me. Does this work? Does that work? Nope. I'm not getting any of the messages. Come on, Gaijin. Fix your chat. That's also a thing. For some reason, in naval battles, the threat is not working. Does it scroll down? Oh, I got kind of selected. Looks like I'll be in charge of defending B. And another player says a message. If that forces it, well, sometimes it like randomly scrolls down instantly. Everything. Oh, it's fine. Uh, the AI. Look at the, how far the AI finds targets. Even in heavy fog, they will find their targets and kill them. Okay, that's an LCS. Can I still handle one of those. And this guy. If I at least hit my guns. I can at least hit my shots. Really? <laughs> one shot left, one shot right. Let's activate the smoke of Chi. 
Got a barrage of shots on this guy. He is probably deploying s torpedoes in a second. He will be deploying torpedoes, 100%. He will be. The question is, when? And uh, can I kill him before he does so? And now is the time he would be deploying torpedoes. Or death charges. That's also a fun thing to deploy. It's a wonder that guy hasn't killed himself, as most ships actually like, die if they deploy self depth charges because of how the system works. <laughs> Just putting a it <laughs> ability to that point blank into him. People really want me dead, it looks like. This guy is gonna have priority right now. Uh, ships. Come on, my guns, target the ships. Oh, jeez. Uh, yep, there we go. That was pretty sick. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go into a bomber? Actually, no, let's go into a fighter. BF 109s. BF 110 C7. Aw, uh, I didn't get. I got the BF 109 E4. It's actually probably one of the worst ones in that list. I have to rewatch. And my son's still broken. Yep. I know, guys. At least it got me to hear the, the gun sounds better. And. I guess it's some of cinematics. Okay, I know what that is. That's a SF-40 light. Not gonna get near that <laughs> motherfucker. Not gonna go anywhere near him. No way. I'm just gonna be aerial scout here. Gonna use manual controls to keep this thing in move. Really? You're gonna go after me? I guess I have to get you close to my uh, little friend here. Ouch. Come on, help me. I'm playing. Come on, ship. Help me. Yes, you overshot me. That's something. Dude, damn sad. I'm so damaged now. I can't even do shit. I'm dead here. You're just gonna follow me down. To death. Yep, there we go. There we go, it's just folly. It's like, how close to the water can I get without dying? Not close enough. People are like, use your AA guns with my destroyer. <laughs> I only have two 20 millimeters in there. I mean, that's a one. I guess we're going for a 101 episode 2 gameplay video kind of here. That's one thing, like, with some of these ships, like, here you can see the four main guns. But then this guy gets two, tw two twin mounted 37s. And then two. Tree and where were the other ones? Four, five single mod 20 millimeter guns, 
and one quad monitor, twenty millimeter gun. That's one. That's one twenty <laughs> quad twenty millimeter. It's like quarter of the enormous of this thing. By the way, guys, you guys haven't noticed. Which are a little bit of it, like that stuff. I guess you guys shouldn't got on a feel of like what goes into controlling, how to generally kill ships. I mean, you can burn them down. You can use torpedoes, which is a really efficient way if you can manage to hit them. Uh, bombs. Uh, just shoot just many compartments, which is a really like idiotic system. Like there should be less need so of the, that kind of kill system in bigger ships. <laughs> Like, kill the compartments. And... Otherwise, shoot the ammunition. If you can get an explosion directly into ammunition, you're gonna kill people. Like, this thing has four ammunition storages. So, if you manage to, like, directly blow up one of these four things, if you can actually, like, hit them directly, which is really hard in this ship because how low it is to the water. If you compare that to this, that's only, like, this height. To here. I'll go X ray mode. It's so up to this height. Okay, apparently. <laughs> okay, the munitions over here is even lower. It is actually under the waterline. Huh. So you have to hit ships under the waterline in order to like make them explode. And these are giant fuel tanks. Damn. Entire whole freaking fuel tanks. And there's more fuel. That that is actually really cool. Giant engines, power plants. That's actually part of the engine. Hmm. Two giant missions. Steering gear. Depth charges. Oh, we get to have depth charges in this thing. That's awesome. And then of course the torpedo tubes. But yeah, that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed watching as always. And I'll catch you guys actually soon enough with more crossed footage. This is more of like the CBT testing going on right now. I will be back soon enough with Crossout once again. See ya guys.